All right, we've got the diesel JT in the shop today. We are just checking out what's underneath this thing, just uh, looking at the differences between the gasoline model and the diesel. And as you can see here, the biggest difference is right here, the fuel tank is on the driver's side. Um, so that is different. The gasoline models is on the passenger side. And then here we have, I believe, what is the catalytic converter and then the DPF stuff. And then we have the muffler and then more pipe and then another muffler. So today what we're gonna do is remove this back section of the exhaust. So basically a DPF back system. So we're gonna disconnect it at this joint and get rid of that whole area back there. And then we have this delete muffler and resonator delete pipe. And that is going to be uh, from MBRP. So this is a three inch uh, pipe that deletes that muffler and resonator. And I'm told that it doesn't really make a difference in the sound, which is not necessarily what we're looking for. We just want to get rid of that garbage stuff back there. So follow along and we'll get this put on. All right, so we went ahead and removed the spare tire and then the spare tire shield, heat shield. So that bolted on with these two tins here and then on the back side with this tin and this tin stud. So there's four 10 millimeter uh, bolts or nuts that you have to remove to get that shield off, get the spare tire out of the way. And this one's gonna have a bed mounted spare tire carrier. So we're gonna just pull that thing all the way up to the top and leave it alone. And then what we've got here is we've got a couple of 13 millimeters on this hanger and then back here on this back section here, we've got another uh, couple of 13s on this hanger here. And then we will move to the front and there's also 13s up here as well. So there's two 13s on this flange as well as up here on this hanger. So let's get those removed and get this old exhaust out of the way. One other thing to note, if you don't have a hoist, this may be a little harder to do at home and you might wanna cut this in sections but we're going to take off the 21 track bar bolt and nut here, remove the track bar on that end just to let it hang so we can get this all off in one piece. Here you can see the old exhaust versus the new. So we're getting rid of this muffler here and that muffler there. Deleting all that with a larger diameter pipe that's gonna be tucked up out of the way. Should give us a little more clearance and a little better flow and basically just getting rid of stuff that's not needed. And from what I've been reading online and other videos that I've seen, doesn't change the sound at all. So the uh, those of you that don't like loud vehicles will be in good shape.
right, so here's the hardware that came in that kit. It's just single washer, lock washer, and a nut that's not a lock nut. So we're gonna change out this hardware to some grade eight hardware with a couple of washers as well as a lock nut. All right, if you can see that, that is a crimp lock nut and got a washer on each side. So I think that'll last a little longer. Let's get those put on. Okay, so one thing I've discovered here, the gasket doesn't quite fit the bolt pattern. So we're gonna have to kinda screw the bolt through the edge of that gasket for it to fit in there correctly. There we go. All right, we are not going to tighten those completely until we get that tailpipe situated. All right, we slid the clamp on, we've got the pipe on. We'll get the rear hanger attached. All right, so now we've got front hanger, mid hanger, rear hanger all on and tight. We tighten the flange. So now we wanna just kind of eyeball this tailpipe, get it situated where it looks nice and level. And once that's in place, you can tighten this clamp here. And I'm gonna pivot it up to where it's not gonna rub on the bottom of the bed, but it's gonna be tight and kind of up out of the way. we've rechecked all of the connections everything looks good so all we have left to do is hook up the track bar and since that doesn't line up with it on the lift we're gonna get it on the ground wiggle that and get the bolt put in place and then make sure you tighten that bolt after the vehicle is sitting at ride height because you don't want that bushing to be tightened here and then you sit it down it'll twist that bushing and preload that bushing and possibly prematurely wear that out so anyway the exhaust uh, upgrade on the diesel JT took all of about 30 minutes to install. So, so far, thumbs up on that. And we're gonna lower this thing down and uh, put it to work. Our last step is to reinstall this track bar and sometimes this hole will not line up. So in my case, it's not, and I'm by myself. So what I've done is I've hooked a strap to the axle and to the body and I can manipulate this and put it where I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is hold the track bar up in there and wiggle a strap a little. And we got that bolt in. Then we can take our ratchet strap off and tighten this up.